Now, President Trump's failed attempt to replace the Affordable Care Act in the United States has put the cost of health care back in the spotlight. The global cost of health care is forecast to hit a staggering $8.7 trillion by the year 2020. That is a 10.5% of GDP spent solely on health care. So, is there a way to keep costs down? Well, one way could be through early diagnosis and prevention to save on expensive treatments later. And one company says it's already doing that. Olivia Swiss Health will assess your health problems, devise treatment plans and connect patients to leading specialists. It's like getting a second opinion with a highly uh, skilled team. And it's all for an annual fee of $1,000 a year. Well, with us is Dr. Vidar Arnulf. He's the co-founder and chairman of Alivia Swiss Health. He joins us now. Nice to see you. Welcome to the programme. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Just talk us, we, we touched on how it works there. Um, just talk us through the process. How is it different to just going to another doctor and saying, look, this is the diagnosis I've been given from, from this guy. Do you agree with it? Talk me through the package. What is it? Well, what we do is to give you access to a number of specialists. We don't think there's only one doctor who can know everything. We have a team of scientists, doctors internationally, who will then go through your individual file, assess it, and then come up with a suggested treatment and diagnostic procedure if we feel that you need a verification of that diagnosis. The worst doctor out there, we're told, is, is Dr. Google, the one you should always yes. avoid because yes. it will just fill you with fear. But the point is, actually, there is so much information out there at the moment to to anyone that is able to, to do the search. Why do we need to pay you to do that for us when actually we could do this ourselves? Well, I don't think you can do that yourself. If you Google treatment for cancer, you will get 28 million hits within 0 0.5 seconds. And how do you But if you whittle that? it down to say the name of the particular condition you have, I don't just put cancer in there, you may well get a more defined search. I mean, there are ways of, of, of finding yes, out these things. It just takes time, doesn't it? It takes time and you're not, you don't know the quality of it. I usually compare um, second opinions with uh, or being sick at, at just like being at war. Uh, in wars, it's the civilian population that is the uh, victims of all wars. The soldiers who know what to do and have the information, have the intelligence, they do better. And I think that when you're sick, you're at war with your disease, you're with, with, at war with yourself. And having somebody to come up with uh, contingency plans, give you knowledge and empower you to make the right decisions for your disease, that is an uh, absolute asset. Is this just for rich people? Because uh, looking at the figures here, you've got about 500 patients a year paying about £800. That's what, about $1,000 a year. Um, I mean, in the big scheme of things, maybe it's not all that much money, but actually it's an extra cost. It's a cost that people have got to bear. And it is not only uh, $1,000, it's £800. Mm -hmm. It starts at £800 and then it could be more, it could be less. Um, but the thing is that we have seen that we have changed lives. We have changed the destiny of people who was given up by the uh, healthcare systems. And I think it's so important for us to make that available for as many as possible. And that, that's why we are now introducing this relatively reasonable pricing for a world expert to look into your case. All right, we are out of time, which is a real shame. Mm. So much more to discuss, but for now, thank you so much, Dr. Vidal Arnold, for coming in. Thank nice you. Nice to see you. Thank you very much.